Keldon Johnson, Trey Jones, Damian Lillard, Jeremy Sohan, Malik Beasley. They're all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It is Thursday, January 4th. We're talking about FanDuel and we're doing it right after this, but first hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live and follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. But the big thing you can do, sign up at Stochastic. If you're watching this video, you like DFS, we've got what you need, projections, ownership, advanced data, premium discord, sims tool, lineup generator, contest generator. If you, if we have, like if you're trying to do something in DFS and we don't have it, no one has it. It just doesn't exist out there. You should sign up with us, links in the description. First up at number five, we've got Brandon Pajemski, shooting guard, small forward, 6,300, projected for 25. The goal's 33, he's in the winning lineup 45% of the time. It went 27 minutes. He's on the coming off the bench now, but still playing a very big role. He's a fantasy point per minute dude in a little bit of a pace down spot against the Nuggets. 10 points, five and a half boards, three assists, a stock and a half. The fact that you can go across guard and forward at this salary is very helpful on a two game slate. Michael Porter Jr. in at number four, small forward, power forward eligible, 6,800, projected for 31, the goal's 36. He's in the winning lineup 46% of the time. This is basically the exact same scenario as Pajemski, just the opposite team. 32 minutes for MPJ, a fantasy point per minute, almost 18 points, almost eight rebounds, an assist and a stock. Decent enough matchup against Golden State. They're three point favorites, it's pace neutral. But again, the MPE is what is key. Next up at number three, we've got Jonathan Kaminga. Small forward, power forward, eligible 6K. Does that sound like anything else? Projected for 26, the goal is 31. He's in the winning lineup 46% of the time. Kaminga played massive minutes in his last game for the Warriors. I only went to 28 here, 0.95 fantasy points per minute, 15 points, five boards, two assists, and a stock. Again, small forward, power forward, you get the MPE. You're in this 6K range. It's really hard to get to the payup options of Yoka. Yoka, Jokic and Giannis today. And if you can't do that, then you're really concentrated in this 6K balance build mold. Victor Wembenyama in at number two, power forward center eligible, 9,500. Projected for 46, the goal is 54. He's in the winning lineup 46% of the time. Now he seems to be stuck at 26 minutes, but 1.75 fantasy points per minute, 20 points, 11 boards, two and a half assists, and four stocks in a pace up matchup against Milwaukee. Because of that power forward eligibility, I'm willing to take my chances and maybe, just maybe, we get lucky and he plays a little bit more. Finally, the number one contender is a guy that I don't even know if he's going to play today. That is Chris Middleton, shooting guard, small forward eligible, 7,100, projected for 36. The goal is 38. He's in the winning lineup 65% of the time, but the Bucks are on a back-to-back -back and I don't know if Chris Middleton's going to play this back-to-back. -back. He was questionable yesterday. They are still trying to manage his injuries. They haven't had a lot of back-to-back -back opportunities this season. So keep your eyes peeled for it. But if he's in, the spot is great. San Antonio stinks. It's a massive pace up spot for Milwaukee. 20 points, six boards, five and a half assists and a stock. The price is great. The position is great. The matchup is great. We just need him to play. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Thursday, January 4th, DraftKings version around here somewhere. So check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.